Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here at Nocturnal Lounge with <laughs> with Nyong, also known as Chai, and Marv, also known as the Impulsive Bi. Um, and the reason we were here doing a lesson is uh, not not by chance. It, it's for real. We needed a lesson. Now, um, tell the audience why we needed to have this lesson, <laughs> or what how it started. Well, first of all, Melissa and I we are tweeting each other on a. Uh, on Twitter and we're saying like I remember tweeting something like oh the guy who does uh, the pelvic thrusting in the in the video he's known in South Korea for his pelvic thrusting so she was like oh you know what I want to learn to dance and I'm like well I want to learn to dance but the problem is we're both uncoordinated so here we are today for <laughs> to learn <laughs> although I don't know how successful I was you you look uh, good, I'm, I'm, good. I, was, I just kept staring at Myung so like Watching his feet, <laughs> but, um, but see what happened was Myung chimed in and he said, "I can teach you guys." So um, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and who's who's that guy who does the pelvic thrust? Uh, first of all, every Korean is known for the pelvic thrusting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, the guy you're yeah. talking about <laughs> is a very famous comedian named uh, No Hong Chol. He's okay. a gag man. He's the guy in the uh, cowboy hat in the elevator in the video. And, and actually, there's, uh, he's one of two very famous comedians in the video. The other one is the guy in the all yellow suit yeah. in the parking lot. That's a comedian, UJ Sup. He's like Korea's like, number one MC. So uh. those, are the two, those are the two guest stars in the video. Yeah. <laughs> and so the guy with the cowboy hat, he's always thrusting his pelvis. I in. think that's kind of that's like his thing. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like my thing. But I don't do it in public. Oh my God. <laughs> it is not your thing. Dude, I really need to know that. <laughs> well, sorry. Very sorry. I apologize. <laughs> So you must do this Gangnam style dance all the time when you go out to karaoke. Uh, yes, of course. I dance every time Gangnam style. Am I back in Korean accent now? I don't know. I'm going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I come here because I believe Nocturnal is the only place that has the Gangnam style really? karaoke song. Yeah, because um, it's it's a very recent song, so a lot of other places they haven't downloaded it to their system. So we come here and uh, we dance a song like at least once in a, once an hour. Yeah. <laughs> What's an hour? Yeah, oh it's super fun, you know. And then, you know, I've watched the video like probably a couple of dozen times already, so it's a fun video. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you learn the dance? Are you are you just coordinated? I'm just naturally talented. <laughs> yes. All Koreans can do it. <laughs> All <laughs> Koreans yes. can do it. That's right. No, I can't do the dance. I mean, I I I just do it for fun. Yeah. No, I, I, see you, I see you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, the mental image of Myung doing it in the shower is... That's how I get my workout. I'm sweating already. I'm like, I'm not workout. Video is releasing next month. I'm not start workout by time. Are you doing it in the shower? Uh, no, we want to keep it family friendly, so I'll be yes, doing please. it. Yes, <laughs> please. I'll be doing it in a very public place. Now, can you do that other move where, where they're doing that? I can, but I'm like wearing slippers today, so it's a little hard. I, I need the footwork to be down for that one. So uh, Why don't you take off your slippers? Uh, I guess I could. <laughs> I'm not as good at that, which is why I kind of want to leave that one out. Oh, <laughs> well, I wasn't very good at the other <laughs> dance, so, you know. <laughs> oh, we can do it. I think it's pretty good. I don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. That was that's probably the hardest part of the dance. Yeah, the, yeah. the side stepping thing. You got to be really coordinated for that, yeah. So... Um, now Myung is our uh, movie reviewer and also does our Hawaii Five-O commentary. Um, so, knowing the back end of what it takes to produce these videos and stuff, what do you think? I mean, whoever thought up that dance must have been a genius. And yeah, actually, um, well, Sai. I mean, he's been around for like 10, 11, 12 years oh, yeah? already. So he's really famous in Korea, and he's known for his like his kind of like weird songs and that's for kind of comedic songs and stuff. So it's not like it's his first time with this genre, but this is the first time it's actually like took off as big as it has. Is he like the weird Al Yang? No, he doesn't do parodies. Like, uh -huh. he, just, he just writes kind of like fun songs, like songs you can like dance to and enjoy and listen to. Yeah, yeah. But not, not, he doesn't do, like parodies like Weird Al does. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, he's actually part of this uh, production company called the YG Family, and they're, they also produce uh, Big Bang and 21, and they, 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 they have an ear for hits, so they know, what, they know what's popular. Huh. So. That's crazy. I mean, I don't, I'm sure he's big in Korea, but I can't imagine that 
he knew that it would take off worldwide. I don't think anyone imagined it. I mean, I just saw him on the MTV Video Music Awards the other day. Oh my God. He was doing it you know, on the VMAs. I mean, it's crazy. I've seen an NFL player doing it on YouTube. You know, it's like nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe this will be big for the Korean culture maybe and, and tourism. We're taking over the world, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, need, <laughs> you, need, you need to um, bow to the master race first. Oh, oh yeah, there's so. 20 billion of you. <laughs> Korean, Chinese, Chinese. Oh, oh, we should start a oh, war right yeah. now. <laughs> so, you know, the Sino Chinese war. What is it called? Sorry, I forget the word. Huh? There's a war called a Sino Chinese war or something. I don't know. Don't ask me about politics. Anyway. That's all. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Hey, we're, we're all peaceful in yes. Korea. <laughs> anyway, so since since we're here with Myung, you've already met Marv. You should get to know this international man of mystery a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to learn. <laughs> I I know, like, when I watch your Twitter feed, you're Hon Hai guy on yes. Twitter. Yes, Hon Hai guy, yeah. You're, um, you're always going out to cuddle, okay? Nah, not always, but you know, I'm Korean. We drink, we sing, make trouble. <laughs> so we do. <laughs> and you're partial to beer. Beer's nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when there's cute girls around, you're there. I try to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, trying to think, what else is there? Uh, That's basically my life. Yeah, beers, cute girls, singing. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but you're actually a very sociable guy. I mean, because you're an engineer. Uh, I am an engineer, my day job, yes. And w uh, wait, my day job. <laughs> <laughs> how is it that you're a friendly engineer? How am I an engineer? How, how is it that you're a friendly engineer? How am I? What, are engineers not supposed to be friendly? <laughs> what are you trying to say there, Melissa? <laughs> I don't know. I, this is the first I've heard of this reputation that us engineers have. <laughs> really? All your coworkers are fun like you? Uh, f of course they are, yeah. We hang out, we go, we go drinking. Just the other week we had a big Korean barbecue party with like 14 of my coworkers. It was fun. Yeah. A Korean barbecue? Was they all Korean? No, they're no, not all Korean. Well, actually, I was the only Korean there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm the one that set it up, yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah, why yeah. you set it up so that's it was a Korean barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the de facto social consultant for the company, I guess. I, I take care of like, all the social outings, apparently. <laughs> Are you fluent in Korean? No, I'm not fluent. Um, I can speak enough to get by. I've gone to Korea several times. I, mean, I can get around by myself and catch a cab or order at a restaurant or whatever, but I mean, I'm not fluent. I can't, if I, like, if I like watch the news, I wouldn't even know what they were talking about. Can you read? I can read, yeah, but like, another, another thing is I can read it, but I won't necessarily know what the word means. You know, I can read it phonetically. I can, I can pronounce what, it, what the word says, but I, can't, I won't know what it means sometimes. What does that mean? Does that make sense? No. no. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to me. Like, really? if there's hiragana together, yeah. I, I, I can read the hiragana, but I don't know what the, I don't know what the vocabulary is. Exactly. Yeah. So I can read the alphabet, but I won't know all the vocabulary. Okay. Yeah. But you I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you with the karaoke screen earlier. You were singing in Korean. And well, yeah, you, that's well, he's heard the song oh, like a billion yeah. times. Oh, I guess so, well, so yeah. Karaoke is very simple. I mean, there's not too much stuff going on. It's not too difficult words, so. I mean, but like, if I want to do like a Korean rap, for example, that'd be kind of hard because I gotta read it super fast. So, oh, yeah. okay. Our cameraman's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to follow these guys on Twitter, follow Marv, the Impulsive Buy. Follow Myung, Han Hai Guy, and make sure you want, you read their blogs, theimpulsivebuy.com, and he's on nonstophonolulu.com, uh, doing the Hoi Five O and the movies. And Korean dancing. And Korean dancing. <laughs> <laughs>